All right, let's talk about the markets. We're over to uh, Mike Apple. I, I laugh because it's pretty crazy. It was quite the week. Yeah, it has been so far, and, and we could be in store for more volatility coming up today, Melanie. Good morning, as uh, we'll be getting some key jobs reports in from uh, uh, for Canada and the U.S. a little bit later on today, and those are going to go into the data banks to figure out where interest rates are going to go, and that, of course, has a filter-through effect into uh, stock and bond market performance. Yesterday, it was all about the uh, risks related to U.S. and China trade that had the Dow Jones swinging within a 750-point range, uh, bottom to top. It was down a little bit by the close, but at its worst, was down over 750 mid-session. The TSX coming off a loss of 245 points, and all of these markets are down over the course of this week, and in most cases, down now for 2018. Will they or won't they announce a production cut today? OPEC was supposed to do something yesterday with global oil supply, didn't then, might do something today. They're in talks with Russia about perhaps a symbolic cutback of a million barrels per day. Uh, that probably, though, won't be enough for uh, the market, which wants less supply right now. A uh, day after we found out that the U.S. is actually now a net exporter of oil, production of oil in the United States at record-breaking levels, and uh, actually exporting oil for the first time ever. The chief financial officer of Huawei, Meng Wanzhou, will be in a Vancouver court today on a bail hearing. Uh, she was arrested last uh, Saturday in Vancouver by Canadian police at the behest of U.S. officials on allegations, reportedly, that uh, Huawei, the company she works for, is uh, uh, running afoul of U.S. sanctions in Iran. Now, this has played out uh, negatively for Canada in China, the state media there talking about this as a kidnapping because the allegations haven't really been officially released and this ratcheting up trade tensions now bringing Canada into the mix into the U.S.-China trade battle. The uh, uh, numbers, Roger, uh, before we go, we have to do the Friday update on Bitcoin because, yes, I will accept Bitcoin for Christmas because it's getting cheaper by the day. 3400 bucks is the price this morning. It was 19500 about a year ago. Sorry, Mike, how much was it? 3400 bucks. 3400 so down 6% this morning. How long before it's two bits for some Bitcoin? <laughs> two bits and a shave, is that what it's called? Shave, oh, yeah, yeah shave and a haircut. Two haircut, bits. Two bits, two Bitcoin. Yep. We're getting close. Wow. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. Indeed. All right, thank you, Mike. Have, have a great weekend, weekend, sir. See ya.